So first see will the actual mm, this part, theoretical part. So shadow dome is dome inside of another dome. That means shadow dome is something consider if it is a dome. This is a dome. Dome means document object model. That means cons any website uh, take any website any website or any web page. So that web page is nothing but a HTML, right? It's HTML uh, file, right? The DOM is another form of HTML tab file. So that means in a HTML files we'll have other tags, but DOM file have the tags will be available in our tree structure. So first one is a HTML, like for example. So yeah. So, so this is the some the clear all door drawings. So consider this is a this is some HTML file. So what will be there in this HTML file? In this HTML file, doc type, HTML, header, title, and body of the uh, head header of this document and body of the document. Title is shadow DOM. So these will be a some HTML file. If I open this file. So if I open this file, I'll get this is hi. This is my content. This is my second content. So here, wait a minute. Let's let's open. So you will you will get this contents. You will get this content. So I have inserted these content by using the p tags. Hi, this is my content. This is my second content. So here, if you see, I am a shadow DOM. So first, will I'll, I'll so first we'll see this. So shadow DOM is something is is it's a DOM inside of another DOM. If you see this web page, so this is uh, actually this is the complete DOM. This is complete DOM. If I inspect here. So in this page, console this element. So this is the complete DOM. So header is the shadow DOM, and this body, body what will be there? So script something. And this body in this div content. Hi, this is my content. This is my second content. So these are all called the actual main DOM. So here, this is I am a shadow DOM. This is the shadow DOM inserted by using shadow uh, root and host. Example, shadow DOM HTML to DOM. DOM converter online. Okay, for example, if I open this, I just created some HTML file. So in this HTML, please uh, just for just forgot about this. We will discuss about this later because so this is the shadow DOM part. How we can insert the shadow DOM is by using like this. We can insert, but as of now, this is the DOM content. So this is a single DOM inside this DOM. We are inserting this DOM by using this uh, this syntax. For example, I'll use. The complete I'll copy complete thing and here I'll paste sorry here okay if you see this is the HTML file so this is the DOM view that means DOM is something it's like a it's like a file dom is something it's like a file or document object model but here we can able to see all these things in a tag format right but here we can able to see in a tree format that's it dom will will showcase the uh, like syntax into tree format like that this is the document type this is the first one so after that inside that html will be there inside this html we have a head and also body so inside the head we have a title 
and inside the body we have a tu content p content uh, uh, like p tags so like that we'll have all these things so strict script we have so like that it will dom will showcase your html content in you know, a tree format so that is about dom okay dom did you understand right what is mean by dom like it's a it's it's a simple of you are like uh, it will convert dom is something it will convert your tag into tree format nothing uh, nach just think simple that dom is a uh, it's like a st structured uh, way of showing your html content okay did you understand what is dom right guys understandable or not what dom understandable or not what is mean by dom guys um i have just zoom blocking sorry what did you say chatali i have just joined okay uh, what about priyanshu uh, yes ma'am Okay. Trying to understand them. Okay, DOM is something. This is DOM. That's it. If you hear, I have put my HTML content. It will be showing in my in the tree format, right? That's something called DOM. If you change here, it will cut. It will see. It will showcase that details, right? For example, if I add something in this div content, for example, if I add something in a div content, uh, another p tag. If I add it, means this. See. so this is a programmable interface between this html and also dom that means whatever the things i'll be i'll be putting in my html that can be able to see in a dom dom is something it's it can be showcased in a tree format that's it nothing uh, like nothing much so shadow dom concept is uh, what it is means here we have a dom so in this dom we have two like this is my content this is my second content we can have these things but this i am a shadow dom thing will be there right so this is the shadow dom that means i am inserting my element my small element my little element into this uh, like this is another dom this is another dom this is i am inserting my shadow dom into this dom so like parent and child concept will be there right like that this is the complete parent means i i am creating a child document i am inserting that A, a element into this dom that is something called shadow dom concept so that means here in this page these thing one dom so this is another dom so this another dom is called shadow dom by using shadow dom concept i am inserting this dom into the main dom so if you come here this is the content so hi this is my content hi this is my second content so these are only the this is the actual main dom so here i am inserting my script file so i am creating some script so this is the this is the syntax for inserting your dom details for example so i am in a, in this script i am creating i am through this is the host for this document so we need a something called host and also root a root will be available in our shadow dom site host will be available in our actual main dom site by using this host here i am i am querying this host from this document so this div content have this host right so hash document dot where in this document i am querying this host and i am saving that host into this elements after that i am creating my constant shadow root i am creating some shadow root so is equal to this is a syntax elements dot of attach shadow and mode open so i am opening the mode to link with this host after that shadow root dot of inner html i am inserting this i am inserting here like this p tag i am inserting here this p tag i am inserting here for example i am inserting shadow root dot of inner html is equal to another p tag i this 
one other element. So my shadow dog. Okay, okay, okay. So we are, we are using a query selector. So that's why if I'm using query selector all. It's not working for the query selector all. We can use here. Remove this one. Hmm. Right. I, I got these things, these two things here. Through this one command, I can able to give all these things. I am a shadow DOM and also hi, this is another element. I can insert those things. So that means I am creating a script. So this is how we can insert our uh, details means by using this, this. Control C. New slide. This is the syntax for inserting our shadow DOM. So this is the main DOM. In this main DOM, I am inserting this details into this DOM. So when I when I render the page, both will be combined. This root will open. This root will open and it will link with this uh, DOM by using this host. So after that, this details will be showcased in our uh, in our uh, web page. Did you get this concept, this shadow DOM concept? Or confusing? Okay, let it be. First, first of all, like first explain what I have done here. What is mean by this header? Like title header. What is the shadow DOM? Uh, shadow DOM. So this is the title where you can able to see this shadow DOM. The title thing in a web page. Guys, where you can see the shadow DOM in a web page? In under top in search bar. Huh. Okay. Here. Right? Okay. Yes. Good. Then, so this is a header. Inside of my body tag, what I have done, this is the div content, right? So, hi, this is content. So, this line, right? Yes, ma'am. This is my second content, this line, right? So, the, my div tag was completed here. Here, what is this thing? What is this thing? I have used a script something and I am uh, using this document query selector and all. So, what do you think? What is this thing? My, yeah, my DOM and end here. Okay. So what is this thing? What do you think this thing? The first line is for the hosting. Mm -hmm. And here, this is the class actually. Uh, we'll have a diff, uh, like a username and uh, username and ID or class like that. We'll have that, right? Like two selectors to to do the stylings and all we'll use this, right? So, like that, I have created some ID. So, this is host. This host is for host for adding my another DOM element into here. Okay. So, adding my another DOM element into here. So, this one is denotes the, this thing will denotes the adding my shadow DOM. That means here, my shadow DOM, what will be the content? I am a shadow DOM. And hi, this is another element. These two uh, lines I want to add in this DOM. So that's my scenario. So by using how I can add? By using DOM con uh, shadow DOM concept I can add. 
so how you can create your shadow dom means so first first i have to query in this document document dot of query selector in this document i will query the host i will assign that values into elements so after that for the for this element for this element this host element i am attaching the shadow so what is my shadow this is the shadow i am attaching my shadow and mode will be open i am opening this root root to attach my shadow so after that shadow root of inner html so inner html what is the html i'm going to pass i'm pass i am a shadow dom and hi this is another element i am passing these contents into this dom so that's why it's rendered and it will be showing those details also so this is the actual dom content this is the shadow dom content did you get this one guys yes ma'am understood or not what i have done i just created one single html page i just created the p, uh, p tags so after that i created some so these are the these are the predefined syntax you have to use like this only if you give anything host like instead of host you have given an, another thing means you have to give the name that that name so i am querying this host i am attaching the values my values to this host that's it shadow root is from the dom element uh, shadow dom element and host is uh, this is from the dom element so this is the syntax for attaching adding my shadow uh, my element shadow dom element to this actual dom did you get this one what you have like let me know what you have not understood so that's why like that i can clear because if you are simply uh, means you are not telling anything means i cannot understand what you are not understood right what you have not understood please tell me your questions about this shadow dom basically you, what you have not understood about this shadow dom guys Yes, ma'am. What you have not? Yeah, tell me. What do you have not understood about this concept? Ma'am, understood. I have to do hands on once. Okay. What about you, Priyanshu? Oh, uh, ma'am, is this the shadow root element? Uh, this is it the predefined variable? Hmm. Yes. This one, shadow root, right? Yes. Yes. These is these are all the predefined things. Elements you can change. elements you can change you cannot document and query selector host will be like in this id what will be the host will be you will giving for example instead of host if you host if you are give something means that thing you need to give here hash after that okay then this constant shadow root is equal to this variable name dot of attach show shadow on mod open these are all the predefined syntax and i am inserting my html right shadow root dot of in html these are the predefined so whatever the things you want to enter you have to enter the details here so these well, thing every huh. time we, if we need to display something some other tag we hmm. need to write this shadow root dot in a html ha huh. yes yes for every single line if suppose there is another not, div tag no 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 it will not work like that for example i want to use any div tag means For example, so this is my dev tag. Mm, so after that, wait a minute. And also, for example, dev. I don't think so. It will be work. Let's see. Uh, it's not working. Consider this. Ah, uh, yeah, it's working. 
so uh, this tip tag have applied so whatever the styling you can apply you can apply see for this div tag it's a green right so that's why you can able to change the coloring like that inside of this whatever things you can do you can do uh, for example uh, let's create another div tag here div tag so here this is my dom content so this is also div this is also div but uh, this styling only applicable for this uh, shadow dom because we have uh, like we have given inside of the shadow dom right so that's the reason for example if you want to add any colorings here means you can add but the colorings and stylings whatever the things you can add here that will be applicable only inside of this dom only inside of the script only so if you have given any other uh, p tags uh, for example if i have given another div tag mm. so this is inline styling okay so you can add as much you you, you want Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, and this mode open. Now, hmm. what is this mode open is for? This is the predefined syntax. That means you want to connect your shadow DOM with your main main DOM, right? So that's why we have to uh, this elements dot of attach shadow. The mode is open. So to open this, like we have to write this uh, this syntax. So to attach our shadow DOM with actual main DOM, so the mode has to be open to connect these two things, this DOM and also this shadow DOM. So that's why here the syntax called mode open. So this is the predefined thing. You have to uh, use this thing without fail. If you have not, like uh, it's not open means these two DOMs won't be connected. Okay. okay. Mm, then any next any other thoughts? No man. Right. So don't think it's a complicated one. Just simple one. Uh, I we are like why we are why this concept is useful. First we have to discuss that right. So why this concept is useful means for example. So this is the shadow root right. I can create another shadow root. Okay, line 14. Mm, okay, wait a minute. Here's a host. A uh, element and query selector and a host uh, will create another host here. So my div ID equal to one. One. Huh? Why it's not adding? Wait a minute.
we cannot do that no we cannot do like this Constant, constant, one document, query, selector, host, host one. Mode is open. Element only. Shadow root hot HTML. That's correct. Let's go here. Let's inspect here. Shadow down. Body. Have a two script. But this is a HTML thing. But as per the LWC, we can create as many shadow DOMs we want and we can insert the DOMs into main DOM. If I'm, I'm thinking. This is the div content. This is the host one and the host one. This, this is host one. This shadow DOM was not connected. Mesh user. Okay, and element out of. Okay, let's remove this one. Let's let's remove this one. The script. Hmm. Okay. So here we can insert only one shadow DOM into the DOM file because it's only taking one thing. At a time, okay. Okay, so we can only insert, as for the HTML, we can only insert one file, uh, but okay, so we have to know the what is shadow DOM concept, but uh, we'll see how we can uh, means do that in LWC. Like why you are discussing this shadow DOM concept means uh, sometimes we'll have a chance to insert our uh, like DOM contents into our uh, DOM content, shadow DOM contents into our actual DOM. So that's why we have to see that. But as of now, as for the HTML, we can only connect only one DOM. So that means we have to give all our details here only. Like in the shadow room, in the HTML only, we can able to give the details. Or if you want to add like different contents. Might be, wait, we'll see something. I don't know whether we can able to do it or not. Peter. 
It's not checking. I'm just just experimenting. I don't know whether I can able to do do it or not. The DOM content. This is my DOM content. No, I it it it's not taking. Mm, so that. I'm a shadow dom staking. It's a host. Now let's use as a host one. No, it's not working. It's not taking like that. You can only insert the details into DOM, not from the shadow DOM to DOM, but that only uh, we can insert as many DOMs we can, uh, shadow DOMs, not a single DOM. We can insert as many DOMs, but uh, I don't think so. Why it's not working? Tip ID is equal to post one. My dear, mm -hmm. what? Const, 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 element two. Let's remove this step. Uh -huh. It's not accepting. Remove this. Thing. So user, user, element, element, element two, element two, host one and host one. No, it's not access. Okay. It has to be like this only. <laughs> Okay, so DOM is something in, uh, in a DOM is document object model. 
so inside of the dom we can create another dom and we can add that to main dom so that's the actual concept how we can insert means by using script so document dot query shelter here we can query the details uh and we can uh, query uh, like query the user user what are the user elements we are querying that i'm assigning that into element so element dot of at as shadow means i'm attaching these details some more should be open so shadow root dot of inner html by using inner html i'm attaching this thing this i'm shadow dom to this uh, this actual main dom so when we render the component these two will be rendered and uh, it will uh, uh, showcase the details into our dom so that is the shadow dom concept so next thing is life cycle hooks what is meant by life cycle hooks means so if every lwc component for example here in our uh, okay so in our uh, uh, salesforce will create some lwc components right for the lwc components every component there will be a life cycle like how for our like for a human what will be the life life cycle so he or she will born after that they'll uh, toddler and then um, uh, like uh, like kids and toddlers then teenagers adults and uh, the like old aged people right like that every uh, if there is some life cycle for a human right so like that when the component created from the component creation and from the component word deletion like uh, like what will be the life cycle how this will be rendered how this will be rendered from and it will be showcased in our ui that is something called life cycle hooks so what will be the life cycle hooks means so consider uh, normally let's let's go to the life cycle of lwc so in a in apex we have something called order of execution right that means once this happen means after, after that what will be the next thing like that so first it will gather the requirements then uh, system uh, system related uh, rules after that validation rules after that uh, like uh, commissions like that different things will be different order of execution will be there right for code how the code will be executed so for next um, some triggers or next validation next uh, uh like before triggers or after triggers and uh, uh, assignment rules like that some order of execution will be there for the code right like that for a component also so different life cycles will be there consider so if if we have only the parent component if i'm i'll have only one component there is no any child and all it means first it will call the constructor method and it will call an if any public uh, public properties will be there like what is the public property at the rate of api is like that properties will be there means that will be called so after that parent will be inserted into the dom that means dom what we have discussed dom is a do document object model right so what that in that dom this parent document uh, this parent object will be inserted so after that connected callback called on a parent that means in the dom it will be inserted right so in that page that page related to which record or which uh, which page which home page or record page or web page so whatever the page that parent will be connected to that record or something so the connected callback will be called so after that parent will be rendered after that parent will be rendered and it will be showcased in your uh, uh, ui right if there is no any component uh, there is no any uh, uh, child component will be there means only this things will be happen first the constructor will be called first the parent will be constructed it has to build right so constructor will be called after that any public properties will be called there means that will be called so after that connected callback will be called after that parent will be rendered then then constructor of the child will be called if any child object will be there means the now the construct a child will be constructed in that child any public properties will be there means that will be rendered updated after that child will be inserted into the dom after that connected callback that child will be connected to uh, like uh, connected to our uh, record so after that child will be rendered 
and rendered call back on the chair wait a minute another we'll see another example the child will be rendered after that the parent will be rendered and parent and child both will be rendered it will be showcased in your ui so this is the uh, life cycle life cycle of uh, web component how this how this component will be called how this component will be created how uh, it will be connected to the uh, like uh, records how it will pull the values and how it will be rendered and showcase the details these will be uh, telling by this life cycle life cycle of the components like lwc components like what which operation perform first which operation happen next like that so life cycle hooks will be let you know what will happen from the beginning of uh, and uh, like from when you insert your when you when you insert your lwc component in your uh, page right edit page once you save that so once after that once you say after that what will be the operations will be happening in the background that will be telling you by using this life cycle hooks first the parent will be constructed after that that will be in, uh, public related is there any public properties available in the javascript that will be updated then the connected callback will be called that means uh, like uh, connected callbacks will be means that will be connected to the record after that the parent will be rendered after that the, if there any child will be there means that will be constructed public properties will be called after that the, that child will be connected to the record <clears throat> after that this parent and child both are rendered and it can able to showcase the details in your ui so that will be the that will be the life cycle of the lightning web components you know practical way first will come back the parent first will be the parent right so i just i'm creating a lightning card like a parent card so after that some stylings just a type input type input text on key up that change handler so whatever the things i'll be entering here that will be saved into that will be saved into where this dot name so this dot name in the chain handler whatever the thing i will be entering that will be saved into this dot name to save that i i don't want to showcase all these things anywhere so that's why just to save this to this dot name then then work with the so that will be saved into this property name property then here first what will happen we'll come back here hmm. first constructor on the called on a parent right so here these constructors connected callback rendered callback these things these things won't be visible in a like you cannot mandatorily call these things so sometimes we need to you want to connect your uh, dom with uh, like dom with or component with your uh, object or record means when sometimes will call but but whenever when, when you render any component or something these things will be called background the in a background it will automatically call and it automatically perform so to showcase you like which constructor is performing which uh, like method is calling first which method is calling next so i'm i'm just giving this uh, methods here and i i just want to pin something in our in our inspection tools first i'm creating this constructor so when you create a constructor method this super is mandatory without the super the actual the component won't be built won't be built it will showcase the super identifier is not there so the constructor the component won't be built so first we'll call this constructor method because first the constructor was called is there any public property will be there means that will be loaded but 
we don't have any public properties then parent will be inserted into dom that means after that this life cycle parent will be added into your dom so after that parent will be insert uh, sorry connected callback will be called so this thing this method will be called so after that parent will be rendered so it will be rendered rendered callback this one will be called like parent rendered callback call so after that it will this this control will be go back to the child component child component here the constructor will be called after that the connected callback after that the rendered callback will be there this is the method error callback if any error occurred in this uh, in this uh, like uh, um, javascript file or whatever it means that error will be uh, catched by this error callback so next a render call callback will be called after that these whole things will be this child component and also parent component whole, whole thing will be rendered and showcase the details into our uh, actual ui showcase the details into actual ui sorry where is it showcase the details into actual ui for example we'll add this and i'll let you know Okay, let's put this in the record page so that you can understand when I'll put this in a record page. It's already there. It's already there. Let's see this. If you see, first is the parent component is constructed. So then the parent component is, the constructor method was called. So that's why the parent component was constructed. Then the pa parent component was connected. So this parent component was connected to this record ID. So this connected. So after the child will be constructed, child component was connected, child will be rendered and another two, two childs will be there. So that's why another child will be constructed, child component will be this one, this another child component uh, connected and also rendered. So after that parent will be rendered. So parent will be rendered, both the details can be able to showcase here. For example, I'll be opening, uh, for example, I'm opening this again. I'm I'm opening this edge communications again things. Now if you see the parent component was disconnected. That means this record ID is already added to your DOM. 
So now what will happen means that record ID first the parent is disconnected. The parent will be disconnected and also child will be disconnected. After that again same process will be occur. Parent the component was connect constructed and the parent was connected. So for, for example, first this this parent where is this parent? So first this parent is constructed. Next, next the connected callback will be called. So after that, this child will be constructed. Child will be connected. After that, rendered. Child will be rendered. After that, the parent will be rendered. So this is the way of execution. This is the component. If if, if there is any parent-child uh, uh, communicate um, like uh, relationship means. First, this constructor method will be called. After the connected callback will be called. After the child will be constructed. And connected callback will be called. And rendered callback will be called. After that, this uh, parent will be rendered. So this is the way of execution. So if I open the same record means, what will happen? Previously, this record is connected to the DOM, right? So now what will happen? This disconnected callback will be called. So that's why parent was disconnected. So after that, child also get disconnected. Child also get dis disconnected. So after that, after that, what will happen? Parent will be constructed. Parent component, as again, same process will be uh, like constructor called, uh, like connected callback will be called, like, uh, like rendered will be called like that. Same process will be, again, it will happen. So this is, this is the life cycle of the LWC components. So that means from the insertion, if you are, it, it will be rendering in your UI, right? So in between these things, what will be happen in the background? So that we can able to see here. So it's, it's a life cycle. You just know how the things will be going backside. That's it. It's not useful to create any components or something. Okay, then. Thank you. Bye.